Hello, everybody. I believe we're live. I think everything is actually set and ready to go. I'm going to wait until I hear from you guys to make sure audio is correct or working before I get started because we all know how that goes. Okay, we are good. So tonight I'm going to be doing, what am I doing? I'm, let's try that again. Tonight I'm going to be working in acrylics. I'm going to be painting a nice summer, I guess it's a sunset, could be a sunrise. I don't know. Is it can you tell in a photo? But we're going to be doing that and some palm trees and acrylics. This is going to be super easy. So if you are new to acrylics, definitely going to be fun for you. I am working on a Fredericks watercolor canvas board. Just for transparency, Fredericks did provide me with the canvas to use in this video. Fredericks I've been using for years. They're the only canvas company that I have used since, gosh, maybe 2013 or so, 2012. I don't remember. It's been a long time because I had so many problems with other canvases. So I ended up swearing all of that off, switched to Fredericks, and then shortly after they became a sponsor. So uh, just so everyone knows all the details there. This is a watercolor canvas board and you may be thinking watercolor, acrylics, why? I actually never even used it for watercolor. I use it for acrylics. It's super smooth. And if you're going with a canvas board, so you can see they're smooth or flat like that. A lot of the canvas boards that you find and like Michaels, Hobby Lobby, Walmart, they're all these generic types that are, they warp like crazy. Just if you've worked on a canvas board and it ends up being a big U shape, yeah, it's because the canvas board. So the eight by tens, I've never had a problem with these warping with Fredericks. When I get into the bigger like 16 by twenties, eh, they are going to need to be framed to keep them in shape, but they still are not going to warp anything like what you see with your other canvas boards. So definitely my favorite there and it is very, very smooth. So getting smooth blending for getting fine detail, that is going to make my life a lot easier. And I do, if you are interested in bidding on this guide, link is in the video description. The starting bid, I believe is $65. And yeah, that one will end at 10 p.m. So if you are interested in owning this guide, you can head over there and let's go ahead and get started. I've got some questions that were submitted. I've got a list of questions from someone who submitted over on MeWe, so we'll be going over those at the end of the stream. And if you've got any questions in the meantime, ask them now. If it feels like I'm ignoring you, I totally am. I'm going to come back and answer those at the end of the, the stream, but leave them now. And Nick is so kind to be writing them all down but he puts more work into these than I do. And I'll answer them then. Okay. So first thing I'm gonna do is just get a base layer of a really pretty lavender type purple color. So I'll use one of the bigger brushes. This one is a number 12 Filbert. This is the Master's Touch. So it's your generic Hobby Lobby brand. Now I don't like generic mat art materials. I think you do get what you pay for, except with paint brushes. I've I'm fine with the generic paint brushes. I'm just not that picky. So that is what I'm using there. So I'm just going to do a coat, one solid layer of this purple so that I'm not fighting the white of the canvas as I layer the rest of my colors in. So we'll do this layer, let it dry and then go over. And this is a, I think deep violet light or something like that. I don't know. I'm making up names. It's a lavendery type purple. It doesn't even matter. You don't have to use the same brand of paint that I'm using. You don't have to use the same colors I'm using. Just whatever colors you think are pretty, go with that. Now mine is more color saturated. Can you see? Uh, it looks, uh, no, we'll see. Sometimes in the video it looks desaturated, but then when I go back and watch the video, it looked fine. But it may be my computer monitor there, but mine is definitely a more rich kind of lavendery purple color. Now, if I have streaks, it's not the end of the world. I just want to make sure those streaks are horizontal. That way they just kind of look like clouds. Work it into your art if you're going to have streaks. So like if I had diagonal streaks, they're not going to make any sense. So this way we are all good. Now, one of the things that's really annoying when you're painting is just fighting that white of the canvas. And I'm avoiding that by getting this base layer on there first. And I am thinning the paint with water. Actually, this here is closer what you're seeing on the camera with my palette. That is a much closer representation of the color that I'm using. So let's go ahead and just fill the rest of that in really quick. And I'm going to soften out a lot of those brush strokes with a mop brush. Oh, I don't. Oh, I do have some ready. Okay. So I'll get as much out as I can with my regular brush and then I'm going to switch over to the mop brush. And I'm just going to lightly go over that to get rid of brush strokes. 
And I'm gonna adjust my contrast and values and everything on the camera in just a moment after we get this drying. So when you clean your mop brush, you want to just dip the very tip of the bristles. So you can see there's just a little bit of paint right in here. I don't need to get the entire thing wet because it's go like there's no reason to do that. There's no paint down there. Just get the tip of the bristles wet to rinse it off. So, and then I'm gonna rub it in circles on a paper towel till it's dry, so you can see there. But you wanna just rinse the tip of those bristles because you want it dry and ready to go as soon as possible. And if you get the entire thing wet, it's not going to be, it's gonna be a little much. And I see the, I'm not gonna say the word because they're going to know. Uh, yeah, look, Gibson's not even relaxed because he knows something's coming, his head's up. Let me dry this first. Now you wanna make sure this is 100% dry. Like I can still see, well, I'm gonna fix the camera, so hopefully you'll be able to see better, but it's just a little, I can definitely see the shiny spots. Um, it's definitely a little bit tacky if I touch it. It's not dry enough. If I were to go over this while it was still like this level of dry, so it's dry enough I can touch it, but if I went over it with paint right now, cause it's not completely dry, that layer would lift up. fix really quick the lighting here and then we will get the boys there I can't say it okay let's see whoops that's the palette that's the wrong button so right now that is way overexposed nope not it deactivate that was the wrong button okay that's back let's go with I don't know which part of this is making it look so. Let's see, saturation is way too low though, that's for sure. Makes my hand color look weird, but the artwork looks closer. That's pretty close. I think that will work. We may have to adjust it as we add other colors, but we will see. Now, whoops, push the button all the right the way. Oh, their camera's out of focus too. Let's see if I can fix that while I'm at it. Um, whoops, that's not the right button. Uh, it looks like I can't change the sharpness through this way. I would have to do it through another app, which will take way too long. So there we go. That's actually pretty accurate color for the lighting they're in though. Um, let's see. You boys want your super chat? <laughs> they, they picked up on that quick. Thank you so much. That was from Fly Me to the Moon. Thank you for the super chat. The boys, thank you for the super chat. Back up. You're too close, you're getting pushy, sir. You know the rules, you can't be pushy. Okay, back up, ready? Good boys. Oh, that was nice and gentle that time, Wade. Good boy. Wade is not gentle when it comes to treats. That's all, go lay down, say thank you. Go lay down, lay down. No, you're not listening, lay down. Thank you again. I know I'm trying to say it calm and they still are just like, no, we know that word now. We're very smart boys. Okay, so it looks like our color is more accurate now here. 
and let's go ahead and do our next layer. So now that we've got this base, I'm gonna go ahead and start down here where I'm not gonna worry about the water yet, but I'm gonna start where the sky is. So right about here with the oranges and start bringing in white. Okay, let's rinse that brush first. And I'm gonna start with some white to go over, we'll do white and yellow first. Now I can darken this up, this is gonna be way too light. Actually, let's pull a little bit of red so it's more orange. But I can go back over and glaze to darken it up. I wanna get the line will probably be right. I would rather come down too low than not go down low enough. I can always pull the water back up over as I need to. So I'm just gonna pull this on there and I'm gonna use my Handy Fine Mist Sprayer. Link is in the video description. This is what you wanna use if you want to wet the canvas or you wanna keep your paint wet, either use an airbrush or use these Fine Mist Sprayers. I've got a link in the video description. They're fairly inexpensive and they will give you a very fine mist. This is not as fine of a mist or like as perfect as a airbrush, but it's a lot more convenient, more practical. So I find myself now, even though my airbrush is right here, I end up reaching for this more than the airbrush when it comes to getting these layers. So I'm gonna go a little bit light and then I'm gonna start pulling in these darker areas. Actually, I'm gonna wipe that paint off the brush first. Let's start getting some of the pinks in and some white mixed in with that. I'm gonna need a lot more white. And you can do as many layers as you like. If you're not getting the perfect blend exactly how you want, do another layer. I'm gonna miss that again because it's starting to dry. Here and there. One of these brushes started to shed a little. So we have this fading out to this pinkish peach color. I'm gonna wipe that off and I'm gonna go with more of the violet. I'm adding a little bit of deep violet into that. I want that to mix in with my white. See how I'm keeping it side to side. So if I have streaks, it just looks like bits of clouds in the sky. So it's totally fine. And now I want this to start fading up into that deeper violet. Now remember, we're gonna be doing a silhouette of palm trees. That means black. Also, I'm gonna lightly go over this while that's still wet. But that means black. If this is not dark or light enough, the black is just not gonna show up. So we wanna make sure that's a little, I'm gonna go a little bit lighter there on mine so that those palm trees really show up nicely. And then I'm gonna get a little bit darker as I keep moving my way up. So I've mixed a little bit of deep violet in there. I'm gonna pull all the way so that it's all nice and wet and it'll blend nice and smooth. Looks a little bit lighter again on camera than it does in person. We're gonna go right on over these, get rid of those brush strokes. And if you're worried that yours is not smooth enough, don't, you're gonna be covering most of this with a palm tree anyway, so it does not need to be perfect. I'm gonna dry this and then I'm gonna come down here and work on the oranges. I don't wanna do it now because that's all wet and it's, it's just not gonna come out as orange as what I want. So the first thing that I'm gonna do, again, I'm gonna rinse this so it's ready to go. The mop brush, just the tips of that. I'm gonna dry it on my paper towel. And I always have multiple mop brushes ready to go because if one of them does get too wet or if let's say I'm working and it built up too much paint on this brush, I don't have time to clean it and dry it and still keep blending. So I always want another mop brush. And these are really just blush brushes or powder brushes for makeup. They don't shed as much as make uh, act, painting like art supply brushes, but I always want multiples of those ready to go. Okay, let's dry this. 